New Caledonia, in the middle of the Pacific, is a paradise on Earth, with mountains, beaches, and lagoons. The place is perfect for beauty-seeking tourists. But predators lurk beneath even the bluest waters, and New Caledonia is more than accustomed to shark attacks. This is the gruesome story of Chris Davis, an Australian man who went for a swim on a New Caledonia beach, only to have a fatal encounter with a humongous shark. Hit the like button and subscribe. This is Fierce. It was February 19, 2023, a Sunday, and Chris Davis was having a pleasant day in New Caledonia. Davis was 59 years old, but far from being anything but a strong, resilient man. In fact, Chris Davis was an experienced triathlete. Over the years, the man had represented his native Australia in age group world championship events several times. Triathletes are all about endurance, speed, and strength. They take part in competitions that require them to swim, cycle, and run. In a few words, they're tough, but Davis wasn't in New Caledonia to train for a competition. In fact, he was there for a far more simple, more pleasant reason, a vacation. New Caledonia isn't as popular as other dreamy destinations, say the Bahamas or Hawaii, but this doesn't mean the place is without its wonders. In fact, the opposite is true. New Caledonia is a collective of overseas France. Its inhabitants are French citizens who vote for the president of France. Despite this, the archipelago enjoys a quite significant autonomy. The dozens of islands that make up New Caledonia are located some 900 miles east off the coast of Australia, in the South Pacific. The place has increasingly become more and more popular with Aussie tourists. After all, it's just a three-hour flight from Sydney to Noumea, New Caledonia's capital city. After the flight, tourists are free to experience a one-of-a-kind place, one that combines the spirit of the French Riviera with the exotic beauties of the South Pacific. Like many other Aussies in the past few years, 59-year-old Chris Davis chose New Caledonia as his travel destination. He probably made an educated decision because the place is perfect for the more active travelers, such as past triathletes. Water sports are a big thing in New Caledonia, and so are diving, snorkeling, hiking, and horse riding. On February 19, 2023, Chris Davis was in Noumea, New Caledonia's capital, enjoying a day at the Chateau Royale Beach. Located just in front of the Chateau Royale Beach Hotel, this particular beach was bound to be popular. The day was beautiful, and the beach was more than crowded. People frolicked on the sand as well as in the sapphire blue water. None of them seemed to have a care in the world, and why would they? With the sun shining and the exotic views of New Caledonia, life seemed to be nothing short of perfect. In reality, there were plenty of reasons to be concerned, and all of them had to do with sharks. Sure, Australia is no stranger to sharks and other deadly creatures, and neither is the USA. In fact, New Caledonia ranks 13th in the world for the number of shark attacks. While this is still a precarious position, New Caledonia's waters are still generally considered pretty safe. But pretty safe is not the same as 100% safe. There had been many signs that all was not well in the South Pacific paradise. The Chateau Royale Beach had been the site of an almost deadly shark attack less than a month before, on January 29th. On that day, a 49-year-old woman named Bridget Du entered the water and was viciously attacked by a shark. The woman lost a hand, four fingers, and part of her leg in the attack, but she survived. Only days after, a foil surfer was also attacked by sharks, but the man managed to escape unscathed. Still on February 19, 2023, Chris Davis entered the water for a swim. Maybe he didn't know about the previous attacks, or maybe he thought he would be safe. After all, he wasn't the only one brave enough to venture in the water that day. There were many, many others. Children swam alongside their parents, the day was bright and full of joy, but that was about to change. Davis entered the waves and started swimming, some 450 feet away from the shore. 
He was no amateur. He had strength, endurance, and technique, all of them things that are generally required of triathletes. But these qualities weren't enough to save the man. Something happened. As the man was pulled beneath the waves, others looked in horror. Those still in the water scrambled toward the shore, toward safety. Those already on the beach watched in horror, petrified by the scene unfolding in front of their eyes. They could see the shark, and they could see the man thrashing as if he was struggling to get away from something. Children screamed, burying their heads in their parents' embrace. Soon enough, the water turned crimson. And then, in a blink of an eye, it was all over. The man was left lying face down in the bloodied water, his limp body carried by the waves. Jet skiers rushed to help the man. When they reached him, it was clear Davis was no longer conscious. Still, they struggled to get Davis on a jet ski without causing him any further damage. His injuries were gruesome, too horrible to look at, but they needed to save him. Once Davis was safely taken to the sand, paramedics started their relentless effort to keep him alive. Unfortunately, it was too late. Over 40 minutes of CPR proved to be fruitless. Chris Davis was dead, horribly attacked by a shark. His injuries were simply too serious. According to paramedics, he was bitten three times on his right leg. He also suffered extensive injuries on both of his arms. Beaches in the area were immediately closed after the attack. Authorities knew they had to capture the shark and make sure it wouldn't attack anybody else. Sonia Lagarde, Numea's mayor, ordered sharks in the nearby waters to be culled. No one in the area was allowed to enter the water anymore. It was too dangerous. Meanwhile, while authorities were on the hunt for the animal, an autopsy revealed Chris Davis never stood a chance. According to the grim autopsy reports, any one of Davis's injuries was enough to kill him. Davis suffered an incredibly large bite to his thigh, extending 14 and a half inches from the hip to the knee, causing a deep lesion with the section of the femoral artery. This injury caused massive blood loss, which was enough to kill the man on its own. To top it off, Davis's other injuries were also deemed fatal. They were located on the man's upper limbs, the forearm, and the hands. Three days after the attack, New Caledonia authorities shared a picture of a huge 13-foot shark captured in the area where Davis was swimming at the time of the attack. The huge shark was immediately believed responsible for the attack. Its size and location fit the profile. The animal was killed shortly after being captured. Chris Davis's body was returned to Australia to his family. The man was survived by his wife and by his three adult sons. The family released a statement regarding Davis's tragic fate. The statement said, We are deeply mourning the loss of our beloved husband and father, Chris Davis. Chris was a senior software programming consultant in the superannuation and funds management industry and a keen triathlete having represented Australia several times in age group world championship events. The family also took their time to thank New Caledonia authorities for their efforts in trying to save Davis's life. They expressed their sincere gratitude. <laughs>